Cheryl. Yes, I'll just talk about myself in the third person. You have to press go live to actually go live. So if there is anyone here, can you just let me know? That's a bit high up there. Let me know if you can hear me as well, because this is the uh, first time I've used StreamYard. And I'm not liking this light either. Yes, Tap Doctor, somebody's in. Anybody that's used StreamYard before, can you let me know if this is normal? But you, when you look at yourself, you're completely out of sync with what you're saying. I just need to not look at myself. This is so weird. You can hear me. Great. Oh, and it's, uh, oh, yeah. It's a bit uh, opposites. Not loving that. So where does it tell you how many people are in? Oh, there, five. Come on, five, say hello. Hi, Russ Reloaded. Rust, not Russ. You're typing quiet. Yeah, she's not quite asleep. She's, uh, I can hear her. She's stirring. She knows what I'm doing. I'm not loving this setup. But I'm, I, I need to have it basically balanced on top of a table on top of my sofa. Hi, Scooby Shaggy. Because I'm having to plug my laptop in because I'm having to do it from my laptop because she's down here and I don't want to disturb her really. I don't want to take her upstairs. Um, so I'll get on with it. Um. Yeah, so I've been to Caboot this morning. I'm only going to local Caboots, which is basically Allegan Wakefield and Caboots are local to me. Hi, Real Love Reseller. What is your name? I need to know what your name is because I see you all the time on Instagram. Hiya, Karen. You all right? I'm just trying out my new uh, StreamYard and the new webcam. I'm hoping it's all working and you can hear me well. Um, yeah, so basically, I live in Wakefield, and my nearest cabo is Dewsbury, which is shite. But I'm having to just do the two in Dewsbury. There's two cabos. Oh, I'm opposite. Don't like it. There we are. Maybe I'll move this webcam a bit. Oh, is that better? Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, so basically, there's two cabos. So I've just done the two cabos this morning. They're literally five minutes away from each other. One's in the town centre on the market, and one is at Jewsbury Rams Rugby Club. That's where I've been this morning. And yesterday I went round Jewsbury again. That's because it's where my mum lives. Uh, charity shops, which are usually rubbish, but I actually bought some stuff. Great, you can hear me. Brilliant. Are you in Huddersfield, Tack Doctor? Oh my God, I've probably seen you. I used to stand on Huddersfield Market on a Tuesday and Saturday years ago, selling tack, <laughs> selling vintage tack. I've probably seen you. Martina, yay, that's your name. So I'm going to try and keep up with the uh, chat as well. Oh, I'm really happy it's all working out right. Right, so I'll crack on. So, yeah, first of all, I'm going to show you what I got from the car boot. Uh, no, from what I got from the charity shop yesterday. There's quite a few bits to say. Well, she's crappy Dewsbury. You will know this well, uh, Tat Doctor. Dewsbury is normally shite. <laughs> Um, I managed to pick up two Tiffany style. Oh, it's weird. Opposite, yeah. I, think I sound like Shelley. <laughs> yeah, two Tiffany lamps. One brown, one cream. Uh, they were two ninety nine. See if I can show you that. No, it's backwards. There. Light's rubbish. Two ninety nine. You can just see it. They were two ninety nine from the british heart foundation of all charity shops 150 each so yeah i'm pleased with them that's the first time i've ever picked any of these up but i thought for that price can't go wrong really so there's nine in hi glitter sunflower how are you you all right um so yeah i'm happy with them i don't know what i'm gonna ask for them because i've never had them before but i was amazed to find this and actually looking at it now it's new look but Anyway, this is a macrame. Oh, God, it's really high up because I'm on the sofa. Uh, a macrame handbag. God, I have to do it this way. Opposites, opposite Cheryl. 
and it's actually new look i've just noticed but it was two pound and i think it's absolutely fabulous very vintage style i need to remember to keep moving the opposite way my stupid laptop keeps having a pop-up saying that i've got three viruses and it's saying it's from google and it isn't. it's a load of shit. you can tell it's not real sorry about the swearing but i always swear if anyone's watched me before yeah so that was two pound I don't know how much they are in new look or how much they were in new look. Probably still in, I would have thought. Quite fashionable. Uh, yeah, two pounds. So I'll probably ask, oh, it's gone. What's happened? Oh, no. One minute. Oh, go away. Yeah, keep getting pop-ups. Sorry. I also picked up these um, for a pound from the Age UK down Dewsbury. Vintage high heels they do need healing but i am not going to take them healing if somebody wants them they can heal them themselves because it costs a bloody fortune uh i got this scarf for myself vintage a little vintage number and i picked up this absolutely fabulous i love this but i'm pretty sure it's a snoopy peanuts um like a smock Let's see if I can show you. like a smock top it's got two little pockets here i am pretty sure and somebody tell me if i'm wrong but i am pretty sure that they are what they wear in the children's wards the hospital smocks anyway i couldn't say no just for the material because it's fab and that was two pound from what is it called scope in jewsbury the mind in Huddersfield is good do you know what i haven't been to Huddersfield charity shops for ages i might do them mine i'm trying to think which one that one i like the kirkwood hospice is it kirkwood hospice there's two next to each other yeah that i like them ones hi lex you all right i'm just trying out the new uh webcam and stream yard for the first time as well and it's so weird i feel totally opposites and i keep getting pop-ups and then pop-ups can piss off i'm doing my head in nothing jason you've missed two tiffany lamps and a snoopy smock that's all you've missed yeah nine pounds to get boots rehealed it's so expensive i'm not paying for them to get them rehealed if they want to buy them they can buy them and heal them themselves um anyone who knows me knows that i like my jewelry i rarely pick up anything vintage because i never see it unlike lex which i'm so jealous of go away it, oh do you know what since i've plugged this webcam in it just keeps coming up saying that i'm infected with viruses i know i'm not it's a lot of crap it's just because i've picked put this in so yeah i picked up this chunky bangle i've had a few of these oh it's going slow uh pop-ups yeah i picked up this uh 50p i rarely pay any more than 50p for bangles but i really like these ones this is a black one they're normally in teak i look really pale if i remove this ad then i won't be able to see the thing but i'm gonna leave it on because it's doing me in, and then no more pop-ups will come on right stop waffling oh my god these are amazing so does anybody know what label this is these look they're just the jeans but this a weird fit and they look very 90s to me this influence label oh, hang on how do you do it da, da, da. on an influence it's together together can't show you it can you see it yeah so that's tiny as well why do i do this I pick them up on a whim they're like a size six in fact i've been taken in there's this patch there anyway whatever they are definitely vintage i can tell by the label they're definitely 90s but they're like gathered and they've got a bit of sparkly embroidery on them not my cup of tea but for two pound i couldn't not buy them home firth is so expensive six charity shops yeah yeah 
Home Firth is expensive. I go drinking in Home Firth. Well, I haven't been drinking for a year, but yes, when I do go drinking, I like to go to Home Firth. Because I'm posh. <laughs> Nat. <laughs> um, I picked up this at the scope. Oh, it's so weird. It's opposites. This tiki mug. It was a pound. Uh, I used to sell these a couple of years ago for about 20, but I don't know what they are now. So I'll have to do a bit of research on these. How do I block the pop-ups glitter sunflower? It just keeps coming up. And I keep having this little thing to say remove ads. And if I remove it, another one comes up. So I'm just leaving it. I just don't know how to block it. I'm shit with technology. Another bangle. Amber style. Oh, it's really... Why is it not focusing on the item? There. Like faux amber. God, it's rubbish. There, that's better. Uh, that was 50p again. I get about between 7 and 12 for my bangles. So for 50p, not bad. Um, this is also from the charity shop. A knitting bag. But I just love the print. I'll have to get used to this backward thing. I love the print. And I love these handles. I know the knitting bag handles, but they're so cool. And it, in fact, it's like waterproof. That was two pound in the Dewsbury Cancer Research. It's gone to three pound, everything three pound or less, unless it has a gold ticket on, which this did have a gold ticket on. Go to Hippo Download, download the program. Oh, hang on. Another pop up's come up, I can't see. Um together jacket yeah it is 90s paper bag that's it paper bag when it's all ruffled at top that's it paper bag team stay is staying i can't see i will do it on my pc next time because it's this laptop's old and it's really getting on my wick but yeah Everything in the cancer research in Dewsbury is £3 under now. It's one of those shops, unless it has a gold ticket. And this had a gold ticket because it was a fiver. But it's a sheepskin. It's a good size. I think it's ladies. Is it right to no, left? Yeah, right to left. That's women, isn't it? Is it left to right? I don't know. Anyway, that was a fiver. And I'll probably get... 75 for that it's an old debenhams one probably get 65 75 for that uh last thing from the chariot shops is this i wouldn't normally pick these up because it's the horrible that horrible brown glaze but i just love the shape i know it's not german but i think it's uh french is it valorous valerius or something I think it's French. God, I sound thick as pig shit. Newsom. I have been to Newsom. It's tiny, isn't it? Kirky, and I go there as well because my, well, my ex's mum works there. So I go there sometimes. So yeah, that was £2. Probably get 20 for that because it's a nice shape. Obviously, that was £2 with a size of sticker. Buttons on the left, where it is, right. Oh, the coat buttons on the left. So, yeah, so it is ladies. But it looks about 14, so that's a decent-ish size. Uh, yeah, so that's my charity shop haul. And then car boot sale this morning. Do you go to Dewsbury then, Tat Doctor? I don't like calling people the names, Tat Doctor. I like to call them the name if I remember them. What is your name, Tat Doctor? Oh, they're close themselves. I won't show you them. <laughs> they're my 10 pence clothes that I bought. Sorry, I'm just looking at the chat. Yeah, so from the car boot, I managed to pick up two vintage dresses. I absolutely love the material of this. It's bright red. It looks a bit orange on this, but it's not. Pleated. Uh, da, 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 da. crisscross top 
it has got a belt. It's tiny as usual. It's, oh, it's a zip as well, so you can't even... It's tiny. It's like a size. I mean, God, that's like my neck size. That's the waist. So it's prob it's a size 8. Oh, actually, it's a bit more. Maybe a 10. But yeah, that was 150. It's Ian. I'll remember. Ian. My neighbour's just looking at me through the window. My window's behind here. And he's just come over from allotments and he's looking at me as if to say, what the hell is she doing? Anyway, this is an old Debenhams one. And it's like a tea dress. It's a lovely fit as well. It's just a nice shape. Ditsy print. It's navy blue with little pink flowers on. And that was also 150. Uh, rush reload and i got a vase like that at auction last week just because i liked it yeah i think it's french balarius v a l l a r i u s i think don't quote me because my spelling is atrocious but yeah look that up um so cabo also some more jewelry this is in no order because I'm just literally piling through it. Another wonky bangle. I've sold three of these cream ones in the last couple of weeks and about same in the black as well for about average £8. This was 50 pence. This is also a bit of costume jewellery. Modern. But I started thinking today when I went, right, think about Christmas. So I've been picking up things like that that i think it'd look nice evening wear i think that'll have been expensive when it were new also these i always pick this style up because i seem to sell it well it looks nice on a mannequin as well there we go not me of course i am not the mannequin and that was 50p that, that was 50p and the bracelet was 50p from the same uh, person I've trapped myself in now. I'm covered by a tat and I can't get out <laughs> to get my trolley trolley. <laughs> I'm falling on the sofa. So, yeah. I picked up this lampshade as well. I think it's Habitat. I'm not sure. Let's have a look, see if it tells you. No. I think it is Habitat. I need to have a look into it. Hi, big girls really do cry. You all right? I've been looking at some of your Instagram posts this morning. That was 50 pence. But I'm sure there's one like this. I'm sure it's a Habitat one. And I'm sure they go for about 30 quid. They go to the office from above the post office. So it's, it's there. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm reading the chat about dinky cars. So everyone will have seen in my Insta feed. Let me see if I can show you there. Baby is asleep there. And I have a sholly trolley. And it was £10. Actually, the guy wanted 15 Look at the size of my hips from having a baby. Uh, the guy wanted 15 So I just went, I left it. I went off around Carbo and I came back. And he'd gone for a sandwich, so I asked his wife if she'd take a tenner, and she said, yeah, always the way. All right, Steve, how are you diddling? How much are you going to sell a shade for? I don't know, I need to do a bit of research, because I think it's Habitat, and if it is the one that I'm thinking of, which it might be, I'm not sure. They go for about 35. If not, I'll probably ask 20. But it was 50 pence. And I've just realised this sholly trolley stinks of fags. And so I've put loads of stuff in it and that is now going to stink of fags. So yeah, I got this vintage coat, furry coat. So I'm thinking of winter, I'm thinking of Christmas. This was £3. And I'll probably ask about 50 for that. I'm just going through the shoulder trolley as we speak. I will be more organised next time. I got two pieces of sclo glass. Well, sclo is glass. 
So it seems odd saying slow glass because that's like saying glass glass, but that's what it's called. This is Borsk, Czechoslovakian. I actually collect it. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, we best not move that table out. Let's see if we can move the laptop. Uh, tour of my house. So, yeah, that's a few bits of Borsk that I have. I like the grey glass. But this is green. But, yeah, this was £2. I've stopped haggling at car boots, apart from things that are expensive, like the Sholly Trolley. But th if it's £2, I don't even say, will you take 150 anymore? I just give them it. I can't be bothered. But yeah, I'll probably get about 30 for that one. There's no chips or anything. £2 bargain. But the better of the two is, let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's at the bottom, so you'll have to wait. It's going to be the last thing. So also, these were at Charcross, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. You'll know, Tat Doctor. These were a pound. Ooh, it's weird. Backwards. Some vintage 1980s people shoes. And they're a size five. They just need a bit of a wipe. And they were, yeah, they were a pound. So I'll probably ask about 20 for them. 22. Everything I have has, is buy it now our best offer. Um, picked up this. So basically, I need to do it opposite, right? No, I'll just do it from like this. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, picked up this clutch bag. Very uh, Andrea. She would love it. I thought it was going to be Primark. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes, I thought it was going to be Primark. So I looked for the tag on the car boot but not very well because it's just down there and it says atmosphere so yeah that was 50p so i don't know how much i'm gonna ask for that i'll have to have a look online see how much they're going now that i know it's crappy primark yeah the pram and the sholly yes with great difficulty <laughs> um yes somebody did come up to me and said do you need a hand but i'm so independent i were like no i can do it myself but yeah, I think we're all right. Hang on. Sorry, I'm turning backwards because I'm going in, in deeper into the trolley. So I picked up these three. Can you see? God, it's hard to get things in focus. I'll get used to it. Is it because of the light? No? Yes? Anyway. I thought they were Italian because I collect a bit of Italian. But they're not, they're actually Israeli, are they? It's Drio. Hang on, is it made in Italy? Oh, it is Italian. Ooh. Yeah, so that's a one little one. They're all um, small. Uh, oh, what do you call them? Basically, you get like the liqueur in them, liqueur bo bottles. That's got fish on. This way, this way, this way. That's it. That's quite cute. Back and front. And this one's also got fish on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Very 1950s, 1960s, mid century. Um, yeah, modernist print. How's the dog getting on with Taylor? Yeah. The dog is living at my mum's because I'm scared to death that he is going to get in the Moses basket because he tries it and snuggle in with her. I did catch him at my mum's, sat nearly on her head, so I did the right thing. But he's going to come back to me when she's walking. But I do miss him. But I don't miss the dog hairs. The light's terrible on this. Yeah, so these little Italian bottles... Like I said, I collect Italian pottery, but I don't collect these. So I will ask 20 each on these. They're only small. What? Five, four inch? I don't know. A man will tell me different that that's no way four inch. It is. Um, let's see if I can show you bottom. No. It's not going to focus in. Come on. 
how the hell do you get this to work? I need somebody to give me a step-by-step -step guide of how to use this goddamn thing. So yeah, 20 quid each for them. So that's 60 quid. And I paid a pound for all three. I'm surprised the dealers didn't pick them up because I were there late. I didn't get I didn't even get there till half a seven. It opens at six. Um uh, another big piece of jewellery, a bit of chunky wood. I just liked this. No special about it, but it's just a bit unusual. It's just a bit of my cup of tea. And that was 50 pence. I usually don't buy these ones with these cards on. Because they're, they're a bit cheap. But I quite like this one. What do you think, Lex? Are you still here? I don't know. Oh, there's 19 in. Sorry, I'm missing the chat. You had a pet with your two babies. When my two were babies. You did have a pet. Or did not have a pet. Okay. Yeah, it's just too much. I can't look after the dog and the baby. Although she's been excellent. I think I've drugged her with the uh, Dentamox. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't really drugged my baby. <laughs> she's got wind. So I have also got this gorgeous vintage sparkly jacket type shirty thing it is a jacket actually and it is a 40 so what's that 40 chest is that a 12 a 14 I'm not sure oh i can't wait to see your shines oh i never find vintage jewelry very very rarely Everything stinks of fags because the sholly trolley stinks of fags. Like an idiot. It's in good condition, it just stinks. How do you get rid of fag smell? These are gorgeous. I picked up these on the second row at Sharcross boot sale. Some lovely eyeball lamps. Two, a pair unheard of and they were how oh, i did batter on these Ooh. uh she wanted what two each two pound each oh god it's so expensive um and i said we you take three for the pair and she says yeah so yeah i got them for three pound they're not old the retro which is the word that we like to use for everything that's not old she's stirring if you can hear her making little coughing noises like uh, uh. so again christmas themed that's why i bought the glittery uh oh the glittery shirt jacket thing were a pound i don't know how much i'm gonna ask for it a lot i picked up this lovely evening dress it's velvet it will never fit me in a month of sundays and I'm not sure if it's vintage. I think it might be. Let me have a look. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, don't know. It's got no name, but it's got a tag. But don't look, it doesn't look vintage. It smells of fags again. Hi, Bexy Fire. You all right? Yeah, Christmas. That's what I'm starting to think. I never, ever think ahead for quarter far. Never. I've never done it in, I've been full-time nine years now, nine and a half years, something like that. Um, but I've never, ever thought about Christmas. I literally think about Christmas two weeks before Christmas and start buying baubles and all sorts of stuff and quickly trying to get them online. So this year I thought I'll try and get prepared. So yeah, I'm buying things like this, evening dresses for Christmases. I suppose cruises as well. That'd be another Thing to, oh, this is the other Bosque, but it's blue. And that is the better colour. It has got a tiny little nibble in the lip, but they usually have. So that were a pound. And I will ask 40 for that. Maybe even 45. But I will take offers, as I always do. Nearly finished. 
from the bottle man, the Italian bottle thing, I got this gorgeous poodle, which I couldn't resist, which actually looking at it is a bottle. Obviously somebody had a collection. Ugh. It smells like, does anyone remember black beer? I used to have black beer and lemonade in 70s <laughs> or 80s because I was born in 79. Yeah, I got this cool poodle. Hi, Christine, you all right? Love the blue. Yeah, I really like the blue. I very rarely see it in blue. But I can't start collecting blue now. I've got grey. Is it from Avon? No, it's not stamped Avon. So I'm presuming it's not an Avon. I don't think it is an Avon one because it's got um, a cork in the top and the Avon ones had like a little paper thing at top, didn't they? And they were, I think they were plastic. This is ceramic. Or oh, they were glass, the Avon ones. Yeah, this is ceramic. It's ke it came with the Italian stuff. So why is it not focusing? We've got to be miles away for it to focus in. Weird. Carla, please come in and tell me how to get this papa look, which you made me buy, to focus. Anyway, that was 50p. Four, I'm 40 in November. What date? 10th I am. And you're 79 too. You've gone 40 though. You're an old biddy. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> yeah, so that was 50p, that poodle. Poodles always sell well. Anything poodle related usually flies. I don't know how much of them ask for it. Oh my God, I love these shoes. These are retro. Well, are they retro? I don't know. But they are cool. They have a hole. A hole in the thing. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, see what I'm doing there? Let's do it like this. Rude. <laughs> so I've got a funny sense of humour. But they reminded me of the 60s ones, but they're obviously they're not 60s. They're probably 90s. Let's be, let's be fair. They're probably 90s. They might be yesterday's. Who knows? Made in Spain, so that's a good sign of quality. Good leather by Timothy Hitzman. God, this bloody light. There. Timothy Hitzman. Have you heard of them, Lex? Timothy Hitzman? I just thought they were cool. And they were a pound. Or other pound. No, they were two pound. Oh, my God. I paid two pound for a pair of shoes. My life is over. Just a few bits of jewellery, and then I'm going to try and catch up on the chat. I got a couple of these. I don't even know how you say it. Ouroborealis, is it? Or other crystal, I'm not sure. God, this focusing thing. You see, there, there, there. No. Anyway, they are actually vintage because I can tell by the clasp. It's a not a lobster clasp, a ring clasp, and they are old. And she's stirring. I can hear her. I'm going to bring her to the front in a minute. And they were fifty p each. They're really long. What would be the key words on that long one? Uh, flapper. That's it. And another teak bangle. I always pick up teak bangles if they're decent. I get about £8 for these. And that was 50 pence. <laughs> you sleep in Tupperware. What film is that from? Oh, my God. What film is it? Where they're sleeping Tupperware. Have I missed it in chat? Have I missed something? I'm just jumping in. Loads of, you've got loads of jewellery. Stick it on Instagram and I'll help you with keywords if I can. So the buy of the day was the Sholly Trolley. Um, I think, does George get about 80 for his? But generally they go for about 60. It is a new one. It's in decent condition. It's hardly been used. Um... But it stinks of fags. Erie, Indiana. Yes. 
oh my god i love that program they never have any good programs out from kids now eerie indiana and that other one what what that other one called where they lived in a lighthouse oh my god i can remember the theme tune what a uh, twist summit twist twist oh, i don't know I can't remember. yeah i loved it as well alcohol is a good preservative <laughs> Do you know what? I have not had a drop of alcohol in since my birthday, November, when I was actually pregnant, but I didn't realise. Uh, Round the Twist. Yeah, that one, another good, cool show at the same time. So I think that is everything. Apart from that, I bought myself about six tops for 10 pence each because nothing fit, fits, yeah? Have you ever, ever like this? That's it. I will sing. I want to sing now. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to go back on chat and have a look, see what I've missed. Probably press some and it'll go off now. Hope everybody's had a good boot sale this morning. Gorgeous shoes, yeah. I love them. I don't know how much to ask for them shoes. Might ask 25. Might even ask 28. God, I'm so expensive. Karen, what's the first? The first, Cheryl. Or oh, the first of November. So you're Scorpio like me. Great. Does that mean we're going to hate each other? <laughs> no, Scorpios get along. We have a sting in our tail. Listed eight coats this week, including vintage Laura Ashley. Ooh, do you know what? I need to get buying coats. And I've bought that one. And I bought a few. I'll show you these, actually. I put these on Instagram, but I bought these the other day. This is... Is it felt? When it, It's all like this. I think it's felt. Or is it wool? I don't know. Somebody will know. Never heard of this verse make, but I just liked it. It was two pound from charity shop, so I bought that. And I also got this. Oh, it's actually got. Yeah. Do you know what? I've been asking on Instagram about this. If it's a. Can you see it? If it's military, hang on, this side. If it's military. Or if it was for horse riding or something that I've just actually found as I picked it up then under the collar, it actually has a tag and it is Robert Nickel Dunfermline. So I think whoever said it's a kilt jacket is right. And if they're right, it, it means it's worth sod all. But it doesn't matter because it was rip pound. I don't know. Not a lot. I got this as well. For my, my first piece of East. I can't resist a bit of velvet. I don't really do clothes. But it's a, it's an 18. And it's like a grey velvet. Oh, it smells absolutely divine. Oh, I want to know what their washing powder is. Mmm, Beautiful. Unless it's the steamer in the charity shop. Also, I got this, which I thought was Welsh wool, but I'm not sure. It's definitely vintage. I can tell by the um, the washing label. Let me just go back down on the chat because I'm missing it now. Oh, for God's sake. Right, so we're on about round the twist. Yeah. Lex is singing and Karen's joining in. <laughs> Karen's Karen's carrying on. Fraggle Rock. I do remember Fraggle Rock. I remember Wisbit. Wasn't Wisbit the one or oh, it was the one with the witch, wasn't it? The green witch. Oh, was that number 45? That had a donkey. Ooh, I'm showing how old I am. 
So your sister is a Scorpio too. And I'm hoping you get on with your sister. Are you going to the meet-up, Karen? Karen? Karen. I'm calling you Karen. It's because I'm from the north. Because I'm from Yorkshire. And we talk like this. Boiled wool. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Boiled wool. Yeah, could be. It's just got that edging on what the Welsh wool jackets have on. Okay, Taylor, I'm coming. So she's kicking off. Let me just go get her. So you're going to think that I'm an awful mum. <laughs> because I put her in a straight jacket. But she, she tries to... Um, she wakes herself up by flapping her arms about. I'm gonna say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello. You're gonna be sick, aren't you? <laughs> Don't be sick on mummy. <laughs> okay, she's going mad. Yeah, you're gonna be at the meetup. Anybody else gonna be at the meetup? I know Lex is going. Don't kick off, Taylor. You're famous. She is super cute. Come on, you're famous. Look. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. You just want to get out of this, don't you? Either that or you're doing a poo. <laughs> yes, Lex, it's a baby. <laughs> Don't shit yourself. It's a baby. <laughs> oh, no. She's going to poo. I think she has poo. Let me smell. Lovely. I think she has. She is happy. Apart from she's just pooped her pants. So she needs a nappy changing. So I'm going to love you and leave you. And hopefully it will be better next time because I'll know what I'm doing. But this stream yard has totally flown, thrown me. And she's going to kick off. She is priceless. You cannot buy her. Hey. No. Don't be crying. Oh, we best go. Because she's hungry and she needs a nappy changes. So I'm going to love you and leave you. And see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah.